Barber poles go back to a time when barbers also perform surgery, tooth extractions, and bloodletting. Some believe that the idea for the red and white strips came about because of bloody and clean bandages that twisted together in the wind as the customer held onto a pole during a procedure. Over time, barber poles have come to lose their gruesome connotation, but not their place as an historic symbol. There's only one company left in North America that makes them. They begin by rolling a printed liner onto a wooden mandrel. The mandrel they use depends on the size of the pole they're making. Using a knife, they score the liner at both ends. The liner is made of paper and vinyl, treated with UV protection to prevent it from fading. Scoring the liner helps guide the worker as he trims the familiar red, white, and blue material to the required length. Next, he rivets the company logo to a support frame. Then with bolts, he attaches a top and bottom support casting. The frame and castings are made of aluminum, so they're virtually rust-proof, which is a big plus since barber poles have to weather the elements. After ensuring the assembly is level, they install the glass cylinder, which can be made out of extruded or hand-blown glass. After a final tightening, they double-check that everything fits snugly. Next, they add water to a special caulking powder and mix it to a smooth consistency. The caulking must be just the right thickness to properly fill the cavity between the aluminum casting and the glass cylinder. Five minutes later, when the caulking is dry, they carefully trim off the excess on both ends of the cylinder, leaving behind a smooth, watertight seal that helps secure the glass cylinder in place. Cleaning the glass by hand is just another example of all the artisanal handiwork that goes into making these time-honored barber poles. Next, they mount the assembly on a hook and paint the caulking with a colored sealer that matches the casting and makes the caulking waterproof. After that, a worker puts in a motor mechanism. The motor will rotate the printed liner inside the glass cylinder. Once the motor is hooked up, he takes an inner cylinder, which has the printed liner mounted on it, and installs it on top of the mechanism that makes it rotate. He then installs a two-socket light fixture with a bulb that illuminates the liner. To keep the printed liner straight as it turns, he then attaches what's called a top cylinder bushing. All that's left to complete the pole is to attach a rust-proof aluminum cover and the second light bulb that lights up the white glass globe. Finally, he hooks up the pole to electricity and makes sure the motor, both lights, and the inner liner are working properly, creating the illusion of movement. Modern barber poles come in various sizes and styles with or without illuminating globes, but they always keep their link to the past. <laughs>